the list of countries I haven't reacted to for Eurovision is getting smaller and smaller and slowly uh, uh, emptying out. And today, one of the few countries left for me to react to is Germany. I'm actually a bit surprised it took me this long. Uh, to react to Germany, but uh, here we are, I suppose. And their song is Always on the Run by Isaac with uh, two A's. I actually really, really liked um, Germany's song for last year. Um, uh, I mean, I was probably one of the only few people who did um, because it didn't get a lot of points. But it, the odd thing is it, it's not really my genre. Uh, what uh, the last year's song for Germany was. Uh, Blood and Glitter, I think, was the name of the song. But uh, I really did enjoy uh, the song itself. I enjoyed the band. I thought it was a very well-performed, well-sang uh, song that just uh, tanked in the scoring process. So I don't understand what happened there. But that just goes to show you that uh, I don't know nothing about Eurovision because sometimes some of my favorite songs just... Don't make it, and some of my least favorite songs are actually the ones that get points. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what the case will be this year with uh, this year's Germany song, Always on the Run. Let's uh, jump ahead and see it and uh, see what uh, they have in store for us this year. Here we go.
this was fun. I, I actually liked it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it, which is weird because it is not, I don't think that's the point of the song. You're not supposed to have fun with it, but I enjoyed listening to it is what I'm saying, I suppose. Uh, I mean, uh, it looks like a, it, it's a sad uh, song, a sad breakup song, an introspective song. But what can I see? I liked it. I had fun with it. it it's, it's definitely a song that I would have a lot of fun listening to if it was on the radio or if I just happened to be in the mood for it. So, yeah, I liked it. It was definitely an enjoyable song. And it's definitely a song that I think uh, could do very well on Eurovision on the live stage. I think we ha have already seen lots of songs like it on uh, the Eurovision stage in previous years. None spring to mind at the moment. But it's definitely a song that feels like it would fit in the Eurovision vibes. And uh, that's really what uh, we're uh, looking for. These uh, songs in Eurovision. Now, do I think it's going to win? Uh, I don't know. Definitely do a lot better than last year. At least I hope. Uh, because, uh, like I said, it's a fun, it's, it's not a fun song, but I had fun listening to it. That's what I'm saying. Again. So, uh, yeah. That's my thoughts on the song. Let me know what you think about this. And I think I've got only uh, like a few countries left. Uh, three or four, maybe. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you tomorrow for another one of the last few songs that I have to react to from Eurovision. See you then. Hi there. Thank you for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. I'll see you next time.